Do blindfold doors cause overheating? Or glassy extensions generally? Very often, yes, but there's a simple solution. Everyone's got this dream of this huge expanse of glazing between the house and the garden. Light openers, and when you're extending, a lot of glazing helps the original part of the house stay visually connected to the outside. But like a conservatory, these heavily glazed spaces can be too cold in the winter and too hot in the summer. People often get cross about anything getting in the way of their vision, but let me explain the greenhouse effect. Glass is transparent to light, obviously, but also to heat radiated from the sun. This infrared heat gets absorbed by the stuff that it hits, re radiated out at a longer wavelength. But glass is opaque to this longer wavelength light, trapping the heat inside. It's the same process as it's happening with the climate, with carbon dioxide playing the role of the glass. So when the sun shines into a south or east or west facing space, it warms up. If there's a lot of glass, it overheats. So it's not about the type of glazing so much as the amount. But now Britain's getting hotter, overheating is a problem even with modest amounts of glazing. But the solution is really simple. You put the shading on the outside of the glass. It's 10 times more effective than trying to block the light inside the window because it hasn't got in to be causing this greenhouse effect. A pergola with plants, awnings, external roller blinds, shutters, or a traditional East Asian approach of bamboo roller blinds. You can unhook these kind and take them in for the winter. Really simple and really effective. And we'll look at how to stop these spaces feeling too cold in the next video. Most architects don't know any building physics, but if you want a space that feels as good as it looks, then get in touch with me through the link in the bio.